Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode four of Gushing Over Magical Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. What the fuck they got on their phone? <laughs> oh my god! It would be slime. Thank god it's slime. But it's tentacles too. Oh my god. I, I don't think that's going to happen today. Time to go. Once again, Silver, the bus girl. <laughs> like, bitch, if you don't finish, come in. Alright, what the hell are we going with today? Are you busy today? I, I mean, that's not still going to change her mind, Kiwi, but damn. Uh-oh. 28? Oh. <laughs> they really did not think about doing that, and they're actually doing that. Like, yes! Come get me, girl! Yeah, just go home, go study. You don't want to get in trouble. Oh. We know, we know, but she's got to go study.
Oh my god. <laughs> the other reason why you family could just sit in there reading fucking porno magazines babe stop getting distracted yeah. we have a test to study for not the scissors. I mean, and the fact that it did it that quickly. Be like, can someone hand me a blanket? Something, a shirt, please and thank you. Are you studying reading porno magazines? <laughs> it's just there in your mind now. You honestly did, and you have no one but yourself to blame. You're just too corny. She was about to grab her porno magazine. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but you were about to grab porn, so babe, you was not about to study. Right? You haven't done Jack ish. And then you just come home and you study your ass off, even if you have to go to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. She's still there. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it? Not only are they little kids are there, we got teenagers here too. <laughs> I'd be like, the question I want to know is why are you so pervy? Huh? Oh god, here we go again. Like, we had no time. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, she's smart. That is the smartest thing to do. Oh, <laughs> I mean, she doesn't really feel that embarrassed because it's Pacey's. Oh, the, the, the kid! Oh, my God. Yeah, please watch out. Fucking kids. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
Girl, now is it the time? <laughs> You would think that the kids, the parents, and the teenagers would back the F up. I mean, behind that fence. She left. Yeah, but please do. <laughs> yeah, please calm down. Like, oh my God. I mean, do you secretly need to get off on that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you even? You had no time. Oh my god. Well, rip to the <laughs> rip to the magical girls. All that stuff is going bye bye. Kiwi sucker? You can come eat with us. Why do I have a feeling that Kataka is, she's figuring everything out. I, I mean, cause, you know, she's the smartest one of the bunch, I'm just saying. Come on, Kiwi, let's go, get out.
I figured they had one too. Are you guys even getting paid for this? Once again, are they getting paid for it, though? I mean, shit, I should be getting money for every freaking photo shoot I do. Also, your voice is familiar, too. Now you can see that one, that thing right there, that look, they're the freaking magical thing that looks like freaking, what the hell is the name of that damn show? Oh my God. Um, don't worry me. Yep. That, or maybe like, no, pretty hair hasn't done one with a heart like that just yet. So you wish they would have did that though. Instead of another fucking sweet spot or some shit. <clears throat> Well, um, the force field's gone. Mm. And there they are. I don't know. <laughs> That's all you got, just some grenades. Now, I mean, I would like that because sometimes you need a good punch in the face. But yeah, I don't think the sponsor would be really okay with that. Big no, no. Uh oh. Um. Once again, Sulfur just gives, like, freaking, mm, pee me? Yeah, pee me vibes. Like, definitely. Well, she gives both, and it's not also because it's the same studio that does Pop Team Epic, but still, like, 
girl is Popco in a nutshell. <laughs> Damn, I really thought she was just going to do some hand-to-hand -hand combat today. Sad day. Yeah, she's just horny. It's okay, Sayo. It's it's fine. You gonna get redeemed. I don't, I don't know when, baby, but you're gonna get redeemed. Cause like no, let's really talk about that. Sayo always gets tied up like that. Sayo gets the short end of the stick. But you know what, and I'm going to say it because it, it's been like this this episode one. She secretly is into that. We we officially found that out week two, but girl is really into that shit. She's just like, you know what, if I'm tied up, oh well, they got it. Let me just stay here all tied up and getting turned on by this. <laughs> oh, girl, <laughs> at least try some way. To get yourself out of it, but no, she's just like, I, I'm, you know, I'm sad. I'm satisfied. I am okay with it. Girl. <laughs> I can't with her. <laughs> ah, bruh, shut up. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't. Okay, but let, let's talk about Kiwi and Sulphur and just their, we can't even say a relationship or, you know, situation. I, I mean, these two are really, in a nutshell, like Sulphur, once again, best girl, best girl, best girl, best girl. Best motherfucking girl. It just she's a mood. She like I, I love the fact that she does not give any fucks. She literally will say what is on her mind. Me. <laughs> Sometimes it just depends on my mood. Like especially if I have like a large fucking day at work, um, I end up saying like my mood like either in a video or um, if something like really happens randomly. And such, like the situation that happened on Sunday, plus, you know, anytime when someone calls me and while well, I'm recording, and then I get super pissed. Um, yeah. <laughs> but really, those two, I mean, it's like, y'all just need to make out. Like, seriously. I, I think that, that would make them so much better if they just make out. I'm just saying that. Because as much as I do ship, as I said last week with Utena and Kiwi, so far in Kiwi, they have this little bickering spat. Like, this is now, what, the second or third time that this has happened for these two? And it's like, okay, you two have some really interesting tension with each other. Y'all just need to let that ish out. I am not saying I ship it, but there is something there where it's just like, yeah, y'all really need to let your frustrations out or some ish just to get by and such. While freaking, <laughs> while freaking Sayo just stays over there with Now, okay. <laughs> What's if he's bringing the pasty though? <laughs> just the return of the pasty. <laughs> I did not think you were going to go with that today. But, um, I love the fact that with her, at first she was like super embarrassed. Because yeah, when you're like fully naked, yeah, anybody's going to be embarrassed about that. But she's like, no, since I have cover-ups, I'm okay. I have nothing to hide. We are good. And, but she still got scared and embarrassed. I mean, I think, you know, imagine, like, okay, I'm trying to think about this. There are so many situations in, like, mm, carnival, 
And a couple other things where, like, typically 9 out of 10, the woman is almost, like, always, like, 99.99999, almost 100% nude and such. I don't even know if I would be able to do that. Like, I, I mean, yeah, I, I have, like, confidence and stuff. There are good days and bad days where I do have my confidence. Like, one day I'm really, really high, and the next day I'm really, really low, and I'm just like, <laughs> I, mm, can I do that shit? Maybe if I was really, really drunk, I'd probably be like, yes, go ahead, put some paces on me, do this, let's go. But I <laughs> would sober me, so I'd be like, no. <laughs> be like, I need a moment. A freaking moment. Okay, so there were, for me, like, no, like, kinks of mine exploited so like whoa that's a that's a win that is a win for DJ oh my god but I am going to tell you I could have listened I, I've never have I told the story before I don't think I have um I'm gonna tell you a story that has to do with me of uh, fucking course so imagine it is 2008 it is summer 08 and you go to the movies with your parents or you just go to the movies with your friends and stuff right and you're, you're looking, you're trying to see what the good movie is, you know, what, what's something like that and stuff. And so you're like, you want to go see, and this was, at the time, this was the most anticipated film that I really wanted to go see because I like the actress in the film and, you know, she's funny as hell. Um, the House Bunny with Anna Ferris. So I, mind you, I'm with my mom and my dad, so uh, I'm just sitting there watching the whole freaking thing. And, and no, this is no freaking, like, awakening film. Um, everything, and I'm like, <laughs> or whatever, but no, it's not that. So, during the film, and because as a, I think I was in middle school, I had, like, watched The Girls Next Door. I think we all kind of did that and stuff, whether you were in middle school or high school and something like that. So, um, as someone who was, like, hella into modeling and everything and still kind of is and stuff, so after watching that film, I was in the car with my parents. And so, you know, we're just sitting there. We're kind of like really, really just talking about the movie I was talking about. Um, where were we going to go get something to eat for the night? And so I'm like literally sitting here thinking about this. Like truly thinking about this. And <laughs> I literally blurred out. I was like, Mom, Dad. And my mom and dad were like, yeah, Deja. And I was like, I think I want to do Playboy and such. And it got dead silent in the car. Like, speaking day ass silent in the car and it just if I could just see the look on like I already know what the look on my mom's face is like my mom once again my mom is the one who loves to encourage and she's always like yeah go do that shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. my dad <laughs> my dad was like <laughs> and then I hear well, 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 what made the <laughs> what, should, <laughs> what what idea for that and I was like <laughs> And my mom was like, yeah, 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 go to that shit. <laughs> and, and such. Um, and we were really having like a deep ass conversation about this. And so my mom was like, yeah, you could probably be one of his girlfriends. And yeah, yeah, I have a black girlfriend. And such. And I'm just over here like, I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I mean, who, who would have known? Like, I, I, you know, well, long story short, you know, didn't go into it and stuff. But what would my life had have been if I actually did that and stuff? I don't know. It, shit. Like, it could have been anything and such. I mean, because, like, here, here's a funny thing. It, it's just, like, I was one random day, and I kind of looked at it, like, what, Saturday or Sunday this week again? Or last week. I was looking at my audience, and I'm just like, I already know my audience is potentially guys. Like, I, I know I have a mixture of co-ed like, guys and girls, depending on the series. But we already know for this particular series, it's nothing but guys watching this show. I feel like I am the only girl in this show, in this series, reacting to this. I don't know. Maybe there is another girl secretly watching this, too, and such. Well, if they're part of, uh, yeah, if, if they're a part of that team, yeah, but let's be honest. But me, I, I think I'm the only straight girl watching this. Um... So, it, once again, it still is fun to just, you know, share something about shit that y'all know about me. But, yeah, like, it just makes you wonder, what the fuck would my life have been if I actually did that? Probably fucking nuts. I think my audience would have been even bigger, but that's okay. <laughs> YouTube was my calling. <laughs> oh, my God. 
bruh, uh, you will never hear me talk about this again. Okay? My mom will actually take that story to the, gra to the grave. I will take that story to the grave. You will never hear me talk about that again. So if I ever stream, don't bring that itch up. I know you guys. Some of y'all be like, oh my god, Tisha, remember when you talked about this? And I'm just gonna be like, I didn't know. Hush. No. <laughs> I know one of y'all is going to be like, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That was something at a time, at you know, in 2008. That was a wild one, Deisha, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to the first episode four of Gushing Over Magical Girls. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.